one of the hits of Oshkosh 2007 was the announcement that the Honeywell and Bendix King folks were finally going to give us the glass panel we've been dreaming of for the GA community. Let's take a look at the Apex Edge series, the KFD 840 and the KSN 770. Let's talk first about the KFD 840. Why don't you give me a tour? Sure, no problem. Um, yeah, this is our KFD 840. It's an 8.4 inch diagonal uh, full VGA high resolution display. It's really intended for the lighter piston aircraft market. So your Part 23, uh, Class 1 and 2 aircraft, which are in the 6,000 pound range or lighter. Uh, it's designed to be a low cost uh, in installation as well as a low cost price on the unit for the lighter airplanes. So like the Cessna 172s and, and lighter piston airplanes. Uh, to give them the full glass capability that would, you know, emulate what would be on a business jet as far as symbology and, and look and feel. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. So as I said, it's a large display. It's again 8.4 inches in diagonal. Nice, nice display size. It's really designed to replace the six-pack instruments in the aircraft today. So if you have all your round dial, the six-packs, it's designed to take that out and you, you reinstall a, a piece of uh, instrument panel that, that hosts this unit and it fits right in the holes where the six pack goes. So we're anticipating a very easy installation for the dealers uh, to install and, and fly away, a good lower cost uh, on the installation as well. So once you do that, you've got uh, all your instrumentation are, are right here. So you've got your airspeed tape, which is very similar to the way we do it in the Gulfstream today. Same with the altitude. The Chevron displays for the intermediate altitudes, rolling digits, uh, glide slope, your vertical speed tape right here, uh, and all that. The nice thing about this is it's a fully self-contained unit as far as all your instruments are being driven by uh, components inside this unit. So your AHARS, your uh, AHARS is a little MEMS gyro on a chip, resides in here. Uh, there's an air data module that, that controls these functions. So the nice thing is if you wire a, a battery to this and you lose power on the airplane, either vacuum or full electrical, everything here stays up. All your information, so if you're IFR, single pilot IFR and, and you lose power, you've still got all this right in front of you. So it's, yeah, it's, it's designed to be, um, you know, keep you very safe when you're single pilot IFR conditions. Aero TV is brought to you by Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Um, keep going on some of the features here. So we've got a dedicated course and heading knobs, very similar, so you can pilot can quickly set his heading bug just by turning the knob or the course course indicator there by saying. Uh, but there is some added functionality. If you if you actually press the button, you can you can uh, cycle through a little bit of a menu. So you can dim the unit. Uh, you can actually uh, set your course here as it's showing here and uh, your indicated airspeed bug. So we can actually set uh, your bug speeds up here. Uh, same over here is uh, you can actually set your barrel, barrel setting here so your altimeter setting can be dialed in right here. Um, your altitude bug up here can be set and then again back to a, a, a course knob as well. So those are, it's fairly intuitive, not many deep menus here. There are some menus, there are some options, not options, but some uh, added screens here. So if I cycle through the menu, um, I can do a checklist. So there's, you can add up to uh, 20 pages of, of customized checklist here. Um, and that's all loaded through the, um, the uh, let's see, right here, uh, uh, the uh, SD card. So you can take an SD card and customize checklist this way. Uh, one other feature it's got is uh, the weight and balance. So this is kind of a nice to have feature here. It's, um, 
not mandatory, but what it allows the, the pilot to do is once he gets on the airplane, if he, if he has some luggage and some extra passengers, you can dial in passenger weights and, um, and also your luggage, um, set, your, set your fuel and your luggage. And what, and what it does is it calculates a, uh, a takeoff weight for you as well as a, it shows you where the center of gravity is. So again, not too complex, you know, you just a few menu selections and you get you right back to the, the home page here, or the, the primary page, and um, not, too, not too complex, uh, but yet gives you the functionality, everything you need for uh, you know, an IFR flight.